Now we are going to go over and see how all of the content in the document is tagged. I have selected my tags icon over here and I'll select the document and you can see it highlights everything in this sort of purple magenta color. So we're just going to arrow down and see what the tags are showing up as. So all of this content here is being tagged the same. It's all showing up as paragraph content. However, this is the heading of the document, as you can see, and this is one of the subheadings, and these paragraphs actually should be nested under this heading because they are related to that topic. And right now, they're all given the same hierarchy as being just tagged as paragraph text. So when an assistive technology is reading this, it's going to just sort of read it all without any indication that we're moving on to a different section or that this content belongs to this heading. So to edit these tags, what you'll do is you'll select the one that you want to change. So we want to change this to the first heading because right now it's being read as paragraph. So you'll make sure it's selected correctly. Right click. You'll go to your properties, and then it'll tell you the tag type. So as you can see, it's being tagged as paragraph text. We want it as heading one because it is the main heading of the document. There will only ever be one heading one in your PDF document. All of the uh, continuing headings will either be heading two or headings that are nested under that. So heading three, heading four, and etc. So we want to select heading level one, and we will type in the title. And I will copy that. And paste that and close. So you can see now this is appropriately tagged as heading level one. We'll down arrow here. Now this should be a heading level two because it is a heading, but it is not as important as heading level one. So we're going to do the same thing, properties, and we want to select heading level two. And we'll type the text here. And copy and paste, save. Now what we want to do is nest the paragraph text with the uh, corresponding heading. So the following remaining paragraphs, one, two, three, four, these all correspond to heading level two. So we're just gonna drag and drop. So you can see it's nested under heading level two. Now you can see we get to another heading. This would also be heading level two. If we called this heading level three, it would be read as nesting under heading level two. So it would be sort of a subheading of this topic, but it's not necessarily, it's its own heading. So we want to change that to another heading level two and do the same thing here. And then just like before, is we would down arrow to see which of the paragraph text belongs to that heading. And we would just drag, drag and uh, drop it so it's under the appropriate heading. So you would down arrow through the remainder of the document and just start with your headings and your paragraph text and make sure that they are formatted in the correct hierarchy. The next component of accessibility in PDF that we're going to cover is appropriate alt text. As you can see in our tags, we do have a figure. 
figures can be images, they can be graphs, they can be icons. You always want to make sure that they have the appropriate alt text. Alt text will tell the assistive technology or screen reader what the content and the context of the image is. So let's check the alt text of this image. We will right click and select properties. It is tagged correctly as a figure, but you can see the alt text is probably just whatever the JPEG was named when it came over. So if we hadn't went through and checked for accessibility manually in this document, reviewing our tags, the screen reader would be reading this text and get to this image and start reading this, and that would be pretty nonsensical to any student who is not a visual learner. So we don't necessarily need a title because this is an image, but we do want to make sure that the alt text that we have provides context and a description for what the image is. So for this, we have, and we don't need to say image because the screen reader will already be saying that it's an image and indicating to the student. So we want to just describe what it actually is. So we will say University Hall on EGSU main campus with the sun setting in the background. That gives a context for what the image is and it also is a pretty good description of what is happening in the image. So now we can close that. You'll want to down arrow through the rest of your document to see if there are any other additional images. As you can see here, there's an image of Sick Sick right here that we'll need a description for. And there's also the figure of a graph. Now, this is a little bit different for adding your alternative text because it's not a photograph. So when we're adding alternative text for something that is displaying information like this with data for BGSU students and BGSU, or sorry, BGSU students and non-students who are using the rec center, we want to describe what the data is showing us because the students who are using an assistive technology cannot uh, participate as a visual learner. So we would want to describe um, what the graph is showing and provide that appropriately in the alternative text. So that way students who are unable to view the graph can still understand the context and what the data is showing.